pull, strike, here, push, blast, and like, you know what that is because you're a kickboxer. <sighs> right? And come in here. Oh, right, Brad. Yo. Can we do a video on body shots? What? What? The one I did against mocking that? Yeah, the one you do to the liver. Yeah, of course. We're just doing some shit, aren't we? So, we'll do some body shots here. So, this video will be about body shots. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a couple of setups to the left shot of the liver. Right, one of my favourite boxers at the moment, alongside uh, Lemachenko, is Gilly Golovkin Triple G. One of his body shots he throws, he throws it, he leads with a rear uppercut. He gets in tight. He's got a real tight guard, Golovkin. He's here, real good. Real good cameras off the jab, right? And he throws an uppercut. So he comes in here, he throws the uppercut, and then he loops that nice, naughty left hook to the liver all the way around, right? I'm gonna switch sides with Chris. So from here, right? Drop, looking, hits with the uppercut. Wow, and he sort of loops his body around. Here, boom, straightly around. And he actually drops the guy he throws this on, he goes straight there. Like that. Help me, change my nappies, diapers. All right, so from here, one, two. That little bop, that little cold spring, shoulder knee toe shit, and keep bringing that up. Here, drop, pop, pop. Lovely. And again, drop, pop, pop. And again, and one, two. All right, so we're gonna get Chris this now. So you Chris. Chris never done this before, so it's the first time doing it. Obviously, he's throwing up a and left of the body, but not in the way I'm teaching him to do it. So, I'm going to show you how I teach people and break it down for Chris. Right. So, Chris, when you're in here, you're in a good stance. Here. Right, just remember that. You do a little trick when you do this with your hands. That's how you know. Get your back straight. Here. Now you know you're in a solid stance. You come down, you feel equal pressure on your leg. Right, hands up. Here. So, we're going to come in closer. So it's sort of stalking me down. You're going to drop. Come out of an uppercut. Ah, that's it. You're gonna throw your body this way. Not too much here. So now your shoulder, knee, toes. You've hit me with that. Now you're gonna loop that left hook to the body in like that. And you're gonna come round my arm. So you go there. So you come up one. And again. Ah, good. Right the way around. And again. Coming in. One. Two. Good. I'll do it to you. Here. Oh, one. Boom. Pop it. Same as another video I've done the other day. From here. I punch his arm out of the way. Here. Boom, boom. Same sort of principle, but this one, I go here, it's more direct to the middle. And the one I'm doing at the moment, where I uppercut, is around the back. So I show you from this angle. From here, I drop, uppercut, I come round. Here. Look at my hips. Here. One, two. Shoulder, knee, toe. I can't stress that enough. Boom. All right, that's that little float of rib there as well. Oh, I feel that like place. Ooh. Baji. And again, here. Pop, pop. Come around. Right, that's a super effective way of doing it. Now let's look at sheer power, right? I cannot remember the name of the boxer who's done this, but if any of you look well, like nerds out there, Walter Evans, you've seen the encyclopedia of every martial arts ever. From here, it's a real powerful one. Now I use this with that Genley Glovkin shuffle, or the Fitzgerald step of his shuffle. From here, I come through, boom. And I power shot, right? So if I jab cross, get the hands high. Jab, cross, now as I step, I throw my head across, here. Talking, all this up. Bang, hitting that liver. I'll show you again. One, two, drop. Switch sides, switch angles, my hair. Same again, I get the cover up. One, two, leaving this hand on it. Bang, all right? It works even better if he turns towards me. So by some magic, he turns towards me. Oh, lands on that liver. Show it again. Here. One, two, three. If he tucks up like I wish he like he should do. One, two, he tucks up. Come around. Come through the middle. You can even change it to the head. Right? But if forget, if he's coming down too low on his body, because you've hurt the liver a few times before and his head drops down, you've got all this to hit. You've got the little sweet spot behind the air. So when you start doing this, we'll fight, bang to the body, and again, bang to the body. All of a sudden, one, two, whoa, loop it. Little face plant on the floor. That's another really, really easy body shot, right? I've got another one I want to show you. It's not the left hook, it's a real short chop and not a body shot, right? The way I do this from here, right? So I could be in tight, I could be covering, Cross blocking both arms here, 
Yeah. Now, what I do, I use like a little piston. Steve Morris talks about this. When he walks, he crushes the ground with his feet, using his hamstring, gripping the ground, pulling. This here is a real strong hip motion, right? And here, if I want to get a short shot, I could be in here, hand fighting, here, put my head in. This is the little one I'm talking about next. So I'm just from here, nice and tight, I can block in. Here, dead straight. Dead straight, nice little set. Here, I can come in and could literally be resting on the guy. Here, boom, boom, boom. Now, you could do this as a short punch. You can't, you can't do it long, because it's, it's uh, trying to go long for you. Doesn't work, all right? I want a short, sharp hip action. You could do this for a wizard. Boom. Underhook, boom. yeah, single collar time. So using my hips here, I hit him on my two big knuckles here. Little short shots. So I've got here to show you I can do it from here. Hips. I can do this left side as well, which I think is the most effective because it goes right in that liver here. I could be here, knee and hip, here. Short. That little whip of the hips. Here. As I hit, there. My arm does this, sort of whips. Here, that's that whip bit. And the last minute, my hips come in, fire in. Hopefully that answers your question, Joe. That's the way from a body shot. All you guys out there that want to learn how to throw body shots, ah, just practice it. You can do this on the partner at home, you can do this on Mr. Bob. I wouldn't recommend doing this on the Wing Chun dummy. You might break stuff, like your arms. Just remember guys, shoulder, knee, toe. Keep telling yourself, am I in a good position? Am I in a strong position? And then kind of set those shots up to the body, all right? Practice, practice, practice. Fundamentals, basics. You can check out Steve Morris and Saeed Smiley on YouTube. I think they both have their own channels, both showing loads of great fundamentals. I highly recommend them all. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Adios.